Have you ever looked at the social features in the app you're using? Some applications give students access to users outside of your network. Hello, my name is Diana Bidulescu and this is a Digital Safety Moment coming to you from the Houston Independent School District. Keeping in touch with friends and family through social media isn't at all unusual today. Most of us pick up our phones and it's second nature to text someone. We don't think twice about it. Making that choice to text someone or reply to a text is one thing if you're an adult, but it's much different if you're a student. Sometimes students may share too much information or their parents would prefer to know when they're online talking to someone else. But do you always know what apps allow another person to contact a student? Commonly used apps for phones and web browsers frequently have built-in messaging services like Vine, Snapchat, Facebook Messenger, Google Hangouts, Hootsuite, Whisper, Ask FM, Kick, Yik Yak, Wulu, Twitter, the list gets longer every day. Encourage parents to look at the apps on the student's phones and check the settings to see if they allow others to contact the user. Can this option be disabled? Discuss this with students and have them debate whether or not the app is a good idea and why. Ask if they'd talk to a stranger who wandered up to their house, rang the front doorbell, and just wanted to chat. Odds are the answer is no. Digital space is no different. This has been Diana Bidulescu from Houston ISD reminding you to think before you click.